Should be enough, huh? We left Volga behind. The endless expanses of Russia stretch before us now. The bridge dwellers had finally decided to believe that we were not demons and let us pass. Anna was right. We invaded their world, and it's not up to us to destroy it, no matter how stupid it may seem. Electricity is a sin. Is that really worse than the lies we were told in the metro? About how the whole world was dead and there was nowhere to go? Everybody in the tunnels bought that convenient lie. Once we reach Yamantau, we will at least know if that lie was justified. Since so far, we haven't met any signs of enemy occupation. Artyom. Artyom. Wake up, dear. Is he up yet? Artyom, the colonel wants you on the bridge. See you later. Come on, wake up. And we're back. Thanks for watching the channel and you did a great playthrough. job there. We are not home anymore, so we'd all better act like you did. Smoothly. It's not like there's many of us humans left now. So I hope someday we will be able to trust others just because. Because they are people too. Am I bothering you? Sorry. I'm in a philosophical mood today. So I guess we left that last area, and there were a lot of question marks that Stay I didn't investigate. Huh? Stay here. This is great. I wish I could stay like this forever. Artyom, when you climbed those ruins back in Moscow, or with your radio, did you imagine our life on the surface at all? A home, for one. A place where we could live. A log cabin on the outskirts of a forest. Or how about a bungalow on an ocean shore? Well, you know, there's something great in simply going anywhere like this. Together. Through the abandoned stations, the ruins, the wasteland. Especially in our own private compartment. Thinking back, isn't this our honeymoon trip? <laughs> <laughs> it certainly feels like one, even though it's a bit late. We've only had some honeymoon sorties at best so far. All right, my dear. You know, I had a talk with Katya. Can't stay here forever. Leaving already? Well, go get them, Tiger. I don't know how long she would have been talking to me. So is this the train car we stole, or is this like the big old train? Ah, hi, Artyom. See my new place? Fit for a king, I must say. Ah, what do you think of this workbench, eh? Everything is within reach, yet there's so much space left. Most of the stuff you and the guys found outside and gave to me went into making this workshop happen. So thank you. We'll have to keep pitching in like this, too. Looks like we're facing a long journey, and useful things like ammo or equipment don't grow on trees. Plus, the further from Moscow we get, the harder they'll probably be to get. So don't forget to collect all the materials you find to keep us going. There's so many things to do. I haven't decided where I'm going to work on the suits, but I'll have to have soon. Stepan's putting on a light. Stop it already! 
Oh, oh, what did you the colonel is waiting for you on the bridge. So, what's up with your plate carrier? Tokare was mad. Nah, it's a long story. Come on, out with it. Well, there I am, sitting on a beam, looking at Artyom, milling about below. <sighs> oh, you are so full of it. <laughs> Artyom did most of the work. <laughs> <laughs> that you did. It's a pretty cool yeah, you scene. But you Just don't have to interrupt my riding life. through, interacting you and stuff. Listen to some, well, some, some jams. The maestro is about to impress you. Got that gun just sitting up there aiming, aiming pointed at her. Alright, that's enough. Thank you, Stefan. That mug gonna get copyrighted. I'm sorry to ask, Katya, but not just further. Uh, was there anything back here? That is our time we fixed our uniforms. Oh, smoke break. That's good. No thanks. Alright, so this is the way we need to go. Alright, go on. So I see Artyom get to the door, and I think it's time I came down. So I go. But something just holds on to me. I definitely need to investigate them question marks more. Could be leaving, you know, valuable gear and attachments and all that kind of stuff. And I'm not sure if it'll let us go back to that location. So that's what we'll do. Listen. I had a talk with the Ark! All thanks to Tokura, he got the decoder working. Ark, come in. Come in, Ark. Over. Hey, this is Ark. Hey, uh, identify yourself. Uh, uh, over. This is Colonel Skettleslaw Mjolnikov speaking. I'm in command of a special operations force. We have received your signal and are currently heading your way. Do you copy it? Over. Yes, yes. A aerial loud and clear. Who am I talking to? Uh, how do I address you? Deputy Chief of Communications Department, Major Ivanov. A, a moment. Oh, yes, Major. I understand that a checkup is in order. Great, Colonel. And a helicopter? Simply capable. I am sorry for the lack of trust, but as you know, situation is dire and the enemy is always ready to strike. I do understand, Mitchell, and I hope that you can tell the leadership that my people are true to their duty and will be at their full disposal as soon as we arrive. Over. Thank you for the great news. How large is your force, Colonel? I have a squad of the best operatives the special forces have to offer. A squad? Ah, I see. Well, this is great! Great! Uh, yes, uh, we are a large force, but we bring a message of extreme importance. We are heading towards you from Sector K-6 Alpha. Do you have any data on enemy forces we might encounter on the way? Over. Uh, just a moment, I have to check. Mm, uh, K-6 uh, Alpha, you say? Uh, as far as I can see, there have been no enemy encounters ever reported in the area, Colonel. I agree. Oh, shit. Uh, Antrim, that should be enough, huh? <laughs> I did not know it would let me do that. Alright, they're talking a lot, so we're gonna just um, continue. We are approaching the Yamantau bunker, the final destination of our long journey. Direct radio contact with the bunker has completely dissolved Miller's resentment towards me for destroying our previous lives. He is eagerly anticipating the meeting with the Minister of Defense he was promised. Probably such things are important for a career officer. The people, though, are less interested. They are asking important questions. Where are the occupying forces? Why is there just wilderness and people come wild around? 
What's stopping the government from restoring the country? What was being done in the last 20 years? Miller believes that we'll get all the answers. He will be pardoned as well as Anna and I. And we will all return home to the Metro. So we going? Take the Aurora back to the safe zone and sit tight there. We do that right now. Stepan, you're in charge while I'm away. Sir, yes, sir. Great. Let's go. <laughs> Where's the Moscow? Yeah, looks like it. Got some Chernobyl action going. Wonder what the yield was on that one. Damn. Damn. Something ain't right, for sure. Identify yourself. Colonel Miller, here to report to the Minister of Defense. And where are your people, Colonel? With the train. It's dangerous outside. Contact them and tell them to take the train into the main airlock for decontamination. Welcome to the Ark, Colonel. Proceed through the tunnel and take the elevator. You'll be met inside. See? Why is it so deserted here? We've got a place 
guns, no patrols, not even lookouts. Why would they need any of that? A nuclear warhead couldn't take it out. I think I was supposed to get stuck back here. Oh, there we go. Imagine if that was a game-breaking glitch. Stuck behind the two Broly dudes back there. Did you at least prepare a speech? Reporting to the minister is no joke. Ah, get off my case. I pulled an old lighter. <laughs> Don't you feel like you should say something to Artyom now? Yes, you were right, Artyom, and I was wrong. Thanks for not giving up. Here goes nothing. Minister, Commander of the Joint Special Operations Forces, Squadron of the City of Moscow, Colonel Miller, reporting. I would like to request that my people are provided with temporary quarters and supplies, as there are women and children among us. Still, our fighters are in top shape and ready for action. Women and children? <laughs> Good. Haven't had those in a while. Who are you? Of course. So far. So far? I I demand a, a meeting with the Minister of Defense now. Do not worry. Everything will be just fine. And even better. The minister and the chief himself are expecting you for dinner. Dinner? What the hell? Are you fucking mocking me? Shut up! The doctor is talking. Where is the government answer? All here, Colonel. All here. We are the government you people deserve. Don't you dare, you fuck! You're just... You're just fucking cannibals! Calm down. We'll get John this like this. And believe me, nobody likes that bitter taste. The girl will have to wait, though. We must run the tests first. I don't like that cough of hers. Untie my hands, you motherfucker, and I'll shove those tests so far up your ass, you'll be spitting Watch them. your tone, young lady. Do as that young man does. He woke up long ago, but quietly listens to wise people talk. Uh, you fucker! Let me... let me go! So, Colonel, 
Now you will pick up the radio and tell the rest of your people and the train to come here. If you don't want her to suffer for a really long time before she is served. Do you understand? And here I was hoping for an intelligent conversation for a change. Alas. That's not a problem though, since this nice young man will surely do it instead. He won't dare be contradictory once we're done with you. Well, nice meeting you and all. Yakov, you may start. I'll get you even after I'm dead. That may well happen, Colonel. I could choke on you or something. In the meantime, I'll excuse you myself. Come here. I'll rip you all apart. Every last one of you should have done that before the war. But I'll get you now. Burn this to ashes. Now we'll be full again. Good. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, we definitely going loud now. Yeah. Yeah, we can. Crazy ass. Where are we getting in at? Oh, back here. Woo, get in, get in. Do this crazy. Let's go. Where are we going? This way, right? Oh snap. Let's do it. Huh? I about to say, what do you mean, come on?
Okay, I guess all the power got to get routed to this door. Okay, let's try it again. No. What? Over here. Tasty meat. Oh, these are the real cannibals. They're just yelling me. Damn. quarters here. Oh. I like that. What's happening back here, though? Some creepy ass sounds going on back here. It's a picture, postcard, new note. much better. Definitely was about to beans it there and die. Why did you shoot there? What the fuck? Meat. Meat, you see? Meat got away. Nope, I'm right here. Hello. Damn. 
Damn, look at that head in the bowl. Food is here. Whoa! This dude crazy. Look at this. Oh my god. These sick mother. Sure I ain't missing nothing else. Why is your meat gone? This <laughs> motherfucker's crazy. Let's go in here. How the hell? I'm trying to remember how to bring up that damn quick. There it is. Oh shit! Is somebody coming? Look at this shit. Dude, damn. I think he set himself on fire, folks. All right, let me see if I can do this real quick. Craft some stuff. like the suppressor okay I guess if we have night vision got the short barrel but I like the uh, like having a suppressor option matter here though More. 
Look at this. Do I not have any, uh... Dead yet? Oh yeah, he did. I think someone's up top though. It's a lot of damn fire. That was good. God damn, these motherfuckers are everywhere. go damn I want this whole gun but I don't think I can hold it because I want this too you know what I run into them them guns often enough I don't regret this decision in the future. Let's craft some more real quick. Look at that. Come on now. Y'all are sick. Y'all are sick. kind of test they doing up in here Artyom, I knew behind you ah! there is always one like you a hero you're not saving anyone just like the others so just Please. Yes, yes. The, Let just, him just go. Don't kill me. Now. Uh, remember what I told you. There was an ex. Oh. Enough chatter. Are you all right, Artyom? Thank God. Let's report to the colonel. Had to make sure. 
Dad, it's me. Sipe, Artyom found me. They just wasteful. I bet these notes are creepy. Let's see, officers. really just skimmed those I didn't see too much interesting in them well interesting yeah but not like as fucked up as I was thinking do you need to get carried this whole situation though I thought we wouldn't see anything worse than that cult on the Volga and that Silentius with his damn fanatics Supposed to push a button here. It appears there was still space for growth. We could have got killed there. We almost got eaten here. That bastard. Unbelievable. To think he used to be a doctor. Don't matter. We'll see what happens now. We did survive him after all. Damn. Bastard. Thank God, Anna. I wouldn't ever forgive myself. I'm all right. Who could have known? Who knew these, these creatures here kept eating people for 20 years? Could you imagine that? I'm sorry. I got carried away like a greenhorn recruit. The minister was going to see me. You can see to me that could be placed I even saluted those ghouls! Some fucking ark. These monsters had it made me. <coughs> like the watchers in Moscow. Those keep people on the ground with their deceit. But these... All right, but what do we do Only now? Only damned if I know, Anna. No idea. Have you found anything, idiot? Their defense sites, HQs... All the information is outdated. All links are long gone. Still, the ones that light up work for at least a few years after the war. What's down there? It's Caspian One, a comm center. <laughs> There's one more just like that in Novosibirsk. <laughs> Are you going to drag us to some other bunker I now? I don't know, Anna. We have to make the decision to get. Did you get everything you could, idiot? We're leaving. One moment. I'll finish breaking everything here. Come on, come on! Okay, all done. I don't think you should have put it like that, Anna. It all worked out this time, didn't it? It worked out. It really did. My concern is what if next time it doesn't. <laughs> of course not. All the more reason to strive and spend more time with what is allotted to me, with that guy over there. I've grown Who, me? attached to him. Whoa. Damn. There's still shooting going on up there?
like some damn zombies or some shit. Nice. From Hansa. I believed that Moscow was controlled by the HQ, that we were under occupation, that we were still in war, that there were generals here giving orders. What an idiot, Suka! I will repeat my question. What do we do now? Could we go back to Moscow? Tell them the truth about the war. The government. They'll shoot us on approach. And even if we do break through, what can we do against Hansa? Who'd believe us with no proof? <laughs> what about going back to Volga? We could live there. What do we do about the locals? They weren't exactly happy to see us there. Do we kill them all? Is anybody here up for that? Back in Moscow, Artyom had been dreaming of finding a habitable place and building a colony there. Isn't it time we got to it? The idea is good. But how do we find the place? Just keep traveling? The Aurora needs an overhaul. <coughs> what do we do if it breaks down? Satellites. What satellites? You want to leave the fucking planet? There's a satellite communication center on the Caspian Sea. It survived the war. Oh. And if we gain access to the data collected by the satellites... We won't have to travel randomly. <coughs> Radiation level maps, even your regular satellite photos could really help us out here. That's an idea. What if there is something worse than cannibals there? <coughs> could well be. But first, we're going to be really careful this time. And second, does anyone have any better ideas? I don't. Well, I guess we've got ourselves a new plan. Artyom, shall we look for that place you wanted? Huh? Sound the horn, then. 